So timelines, first thing is that they're actually not all equal. So that's one thing to keep in mind because although you may meet with other coordination companies and planners and things like that, many of them will offer a timeline of some sort in their package, whether it's a day of service or something else. But keep in mind that even though it says timeline, what a timeline looks like and what it includes is going to vary drastically from company to company. So the way we approach timelines is your timeline should actually be the one document that holds all of your details. The reason why is if all of the information, for example, of the florist is all in that timeline and the florist is supposed to be delivering something that day, the staff or whoever you have as your contact person can look at that document and know exactly what should be coming versus then getting out of the timeline because they're there, looking for the contract, then looking for the invoice and then finding it on the invoice. If it's all on one document, they're not going to go flipping all over all these different documents. It'll already be where they need it to be. So to create your timeline, these are things that will be helpful for you to know before you even get into creating it because this will help you to determine a lot of information. So you will want to discuss and decide if you, as a bride and groom, will see each other before the ceremony or not um, because this will make a big difference in how your timeline will be structured. You'll also want to know if your photographer and or videographer company includes, if it includes more than one person, if those two or more people are always together or do they ever separate so that way they can cover more than one location simultaneously. You'll also want to know where you're getting ready because if you're not getting ready on property, now you have to factor in travel time and things like that too. So where you're getting ready will make a big difference. Keep in mind too that rooms should be large enough for your wedding party, their bags, and your vendors. So sometimes a standard room may not work for all wedding parties depending on how many people are going to be there because you may have a couple of hair and makeup people, you may have a couple of photographers, a couple of videographers, you have the wedding planning staff in there too, plus you and your girls. Okay? So you may want to think about like a bridal room or getting a suite or some people even get ready at home so it's up to you.